Hi guys, I'm sound designer and music composer Gary Hibner here from On Track Tuts. And in this video, I want to show you a very simple and quick technique to really help improve your productions. And that's adding shakers to your song. Now, you might think, okay, maybe this will work. Or you may even be saying to yourself, there's no way a shaker is going to help improve my song. But check this out. I've got this song over here. I've reduced the volume of the shaker. And I just want to play this back and give you an idea of what it sounds like first. So it's okay. But now let me start introducing the shaker into it. And you'll hear how a little really goes a long way with this track. But introducing that shaker, it just gives a sort of push and sort of extra pace to the song. So it really just adds that something special to it. Now I've just used a sampled shaker audio wave file that I've pulled in, but you can use any shaker sound, or you can even use a sampled instrument like In Session's Shimmer Shake Library. So let's play this back and I'm going to slowly start increasing this volume. No shaker there. Now nah, I'm going to increase it. They can hear it. Take a listen before. I'm just going to let that play through and come back around again. No shaker. And now with the shaker. And it doesn't even need to be that loud. You can drop it down quite a bit. Cool. Now find this works well in places where it needs big impacts in your song. So for example, on this chorus section, it works really well to add shakers on these big areas of the song, like the chorus. Let me just go back a bit. I've got this pre-chorus section over here, and this doesn't have a shaker. So let me play this through, and then hear how, when it goes into that chorus, that extra shaker just adds that extra something to the part. So I'm going to increase the level a little bit, and let's play back from here. kicks in with that shaker. Awesome. So that's working pretty well. But this is just on one song. So just so that you can believe me, let me show you how it adds to no matter what song you're in. So I'll load up another song. So this is another song over here. It's got quite a few more tracks. And then I've added in the shaker sample. So like I showed you with the previous song, let's drop the level of the shaker first and then slowly start introducing it. Hear that? So it really works well. Mute it. And back in. And like I said, it doesn't even have to be that loud, even if you drop it down quite a bit. Really just works. And just to show you what I've done from a processing point of view, on the EQ, I've cut out all the low end, but done quite a bit of a big high shelf gain. Then I've also added in some saturation with Native Instruments Supercharger. So I've used quite a bit of saturation with a bright character. So this is the shaker by itself. And then with the processing. And then again on a song without it. And then with it in. Awesome. 
awesome. So that's a quick tip from me on how by just adding a small amount of a shaker instrument can really help lift your song. And if you like this video, then click on the like button and also please subscribe to my channel if you want to stay up to date with future videos that I put up. And also, if you want to get more into music production, check out the courses that I have available. The details are in the link below. I hope to see you in some of these courses. That's me, Gary Hibner from OnTrack Tuts, signing out.